What up YouTube, this is GeoStellFar1 and I'm coming to you with the first upgrade for the Traxxas X-Max which I'm pretty excited for. I ended up acquiring this part a while ago and I was like, look, you know, I really didn't have an RC that I wanted to put this on because it just, it just wouldn't work on a lot of RCs. So let's start off by just showing you uh, what I'm installing. I'm installing the TQI Telemetry Expander uh, and the GPS module. Now, if you're looking at the part numbers, which they are somewhere on this thing, um, part number is 6550 for the telemetry expander, and this is 6551. Now, when I ended up coming across and looking to install these, I ended up calling up Traxxas and I said, look, you know, I'm, I'm looking to install this module. I noticed that you have it on your website. Uh, what is the uh, adapter part that I need to put for the X-Max? And the tech said to me, yo, dude, it just bolts to the front. So let me install this and show you guys what's going on. All right, so if you're looking, I ended up taking off the, the uh, body. So if you're looking at the front of the RC, you see these two little screw mounts, which I was looking at it, I, was, I had no idea what was supposed to be supposed to be uh, screwed in there. But from what the guy, uh, the technician at Traxxas told me, it just mounts right there. So I'm just going to take the expander out and just look at it, what's going on here. And yes, yeah, son of a gun, it does hook up. It will hook up right here. Wow. It's going to be pretty awesome. So let me start running wires and uh, and just start installing it from this point on. And hopefully uh, we'll get some pretty good readouts. So let's get a few screws and start this project. Alrighty. So after looking at the diagram and uh, seeing where my expander is supposed to be going, I'm screwing everything in right now. So... As I'm doing in there, if I'm, as I'm doing the install for this RC, what I'm looking to do is, once I mount it over there, run this lead all the way into the receiver box. But here's the cool thing. I just noticed that I have extra uh, telemetry sensors. So let me crack this open, see the, um, see the receiver right there, and then just start running telemetry and see what's going on. So... Check it out. All right. So, it seems like for whatever reason, I'm going to be switching out the screws that are in here and setting them up with my stainless steel screws, whichever ones that can fit. It's pretty cool. I mean, it seems very accessible to get to these screws and finagle with them. I think. Oh, there we go. And do yourself a favor. When you do mess around with your screws, put on a low torque setting. You don't want to strip anything out. I ended up uh, getting a, a tutorial that uh, to watch out for that, so... I'm just passing on the message. Make sure you watch out for that once you do take out your screws. And here we go. So, as I lift up the cover piece, which is kind of tricky to get to. And here we go. All right, so I do have telemetry. If I want to give you guys a better look. Alrighty, so I started taking off the cover, and if you notice right here, I do already have telemetry integrated into this unit. As for heat, and I'm guessing for power as well, I'm not looking at the, I can't see the leads to the power, I'm not too sure if it's connected or not, but definitely for, for temperature. So I'm going to install this, run the leads all the way over there, I'm probably going to have to zip tie it along this brace right here, and uh... Yeah, so let me start installing and we'll see what the final product's gonna look like. 
So like I was saying before, easy to screw install for the uh, for the expander. So that print came up pretty good. It's really sturdy, so you shouldn't have any problems with that. So let me start running the leads right now, and we'll see what we're doing at this point on. Alrighty, something interesting I noticed. There's a lot of goop. <laughs> There's like a lot of silicone they ended up throwing over here where uh, where I have to mount this cabling. So what I want to do is just cover up the holes. Just tighten it up a little bit. It ain't going to be too big of a deal to take it off. Just to slide it in there. I just don't want silicone to get into the receiver box. So something you should look out for, just cover this up as you're sliding this in here because all it is is kind of like on the Emax and the Summit the way it just tucks in um, for you to put your your wire leads over here. So let me install that and then uh, we should have the final product right after this. Alrighty, so now I just installed all the cabling that I need for my uh, telemetry expander, which in actuality my GPS is installed in there right now. So the cool thing is that I've already uh, set it up for my my Traxxas controller, which I'm using the T older TQI iPhone 4S, 3, 3S, uh, 4 docking station, which I know I should just get the module and stuff like that, but I like this. I like having it on hand without holding two things, which has its pros and cons. It does have a little bit more weight, but um, that's going to be the first upgrade um, from this. So hopefully uh, when I start bashing, I'll be able to get uh, what they say, 45 miles an hour and stuff like that, GPSed. And uh, not not the telemetry GPSing where it goes on sensors and it gives you the readouts on that. Uh, this is in actuality something that I wanted. So this will be uh, something cool to have. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the first upgrade for the Traxxas X Max. I certainly did because it was very, very easy. And as you can see, I ended up throwing a few uh, steel screws in there, stainless steel screws in there right now. So just to start that off and uh, hopefully... We'll get more and more upgrades uh, with this RC truck. Anyway, rate, comment, subscribe, and tell my fellas up on YouTube. Later.